two. Jacques Callas comes to the crease. A wonderful player that he is, and suddenly, you last you got your second wicket at 200, and in walks a man who has held South Africa's batting up high for some time now. Beautiful delivery. It's the one that goes straight on, hits the shoulder of the bat. Bravo takes a neat catch, puts the ball in his pocket. There it goes. Oh. Off the mark straight away. Straight over, long off. So he's come out and immediately his feet are working. It's a beautiful strike, wasn't it? Beautiful balance. It's only the fifth ball he's faced. And again. Catch all of that one. I think that might be a one bounce four, yes, but that will take fielders back. So Callis not hanging around, or at least he's making sure he gets one back so that in future he can just knock it down the ground for one. It's a good shot. He's drilled that through extra cover. Four more. Well, it wasn't a big gap there. Just a little turn of the wrist to get the single. No ball from uh, Shillingford, which is very rare. Ball holding up in the outfield. And he'll come back for a third. Now that's a pretty weak effort at fielding. An on drive well hit in the last over. He made a, a lunge like that and cut it off this time. Mistimed the, the lunge. Ravi Rampal and it goes away for four. Beautifully played stroke from Callis. To it. That's cricket. Damien. And this will be Jacques Callis's 50. Started off in a flurry of stroke play. And towards the end, got a bit quiet, but he's made it. 51, not out, Jack Gallis. Again, Ben in that leg slip position, unable to react quickly enough to come up with what would have been a very good catch, but just didn't react at all. begs the question if he's the man for that position reaction seemed a little late didn't really get anywhere near that well he decided if I'm in trouble getting it uh, down the leg side I'll go with the reverse sweep and with, uh, no one at a gully or a backward point it's a couple of runs Schillingford has every reason to shake his head He's gone with it again, this time for four. Recognizing the challenge of the leg slip, the forward short leg, the orthodox delivery. He's using the reverse sweep very, very effectively now. But he's also looking at the length. And he's, actually, he's playing it from a specific length, one where he can get to the... It's nicely played by Cullis. Another bouncer that doesn't really bounce, didn't have the venom in it that the others have. And Cullis just swivels and 
tucks it away nicely. Well, it was just a matter of time. There's nothing really in the pitch, and I think by now Jack Callis has got a pretty good sighter. Great effort, a great effort. He's got a hand on it. Whether he's going to save any runs at all, I'm not sure. No, I don't think he has. I don't think he has. It was a wonderful effort, though. That was a good shot as well from Jack Callis. Pass Brendan Nash before he could get to, to it. pulled away well by Cullis tremendous power now he's decided no I'm not going to get hit and hit anymore as soon as he bounces me I'll take him on Roach has got to start thinking no he's, he's overusing the short ball Callis knows just how high the ball is going to bounce and the pace is going to come up with and meets this early Goes past him, that's gone away. Narsing Gunrain with the dive. And it was well timed by Callis. Timed it very, very well. Straight bat. Let's put aside the discomfort from being hit on the helmet twice. Already during the course of this innings. One yesterday, one today. He's got it away, that will take him to the landmark and uh, fittingly one of the more difficult strokes in cricket, the on drive through to the long on boundary, takes him past uh, the plateau. They stand uh, to a claim the few fans here will appreciate the impact that uh, Jacques Callis has had on uh, the game and uh, today 11,000 runs in test cricket. The river sweep bringing about reward again for Callis. We saw that earlier in the morning facing up to Shane Shillingford. And now he's uh, done it again. The 100 partnership also comes up. Uh, Callis within five runs of another test 100. Off Callis. Good. Now on 99. Yes. But he's got it. Finally getting the width outside the off stump and it takes him to the 100. 35th test 100 for Jacques Callis. Eighth against the West Indies and appreciated by all and sundry. And those are watching from near and far. They've seen Jacques Callis compile another masterful Test 100 for South Africa. I very nearly added that uh, Suleiman Ben of the two bowlers at the moment might just bowl a indifferent delivery, which would give him the opportunity to score, and he did. Huh? Well, there he goes. The pressure released. And uh, now Suleiman Ben, a bit more flight, but just in the range of in the air under the catch is ram paul he takes it one is taken at last for the west indies hitting with the wind jacques callis and hasn't carried on after reaching uh, the century plateau he's gone for 110 and the west indies finally get a wicket on day two well the sweep shot has been his downfall just a bit of a top edge but let's look at this catch it is a very very fine catch indeed We've pointed out that the wind will be behind it. He had to time that perfectly and it nearly snuck over his head. A very, very well caught, Ravi Rampal. Very, very well played, Jacques Cullis. South Africa, 421 for four.